looking to set up a website for your business, you're on a small budget, and you want something that looks professional, but you don't want to spend a lot of time on it, and you also don't necessarily have to employ somebody. So you're willing to make a little bit of a commitment in terms of time, and you want to set something up. Well, then Bloxy is going to meet your needs. To show you just how easy it is to use, uh, if we head over here to the Bloxy theme, and you'll see here that I'm in the WordPress backend, I've gone to Appearance, and I've just done a search for the Bloxy theme, and we're ready to install it. So we're going to install the theme. Now, one of the nice things about Bloxy is that it has a lot of support. It has videos. It has tutorials. If you have a look at their documentation, you'll see that you are really well looked after. So don't be too worried about how things work. Once you have it installed, you have this massive resource that you can access. And also, there are a whole lot of tutorials as well. So you have these video tutorials. And you can just work your way through what you need uh, for the website. But um, just to get back here to Bloxy then, we can activate the theme and that's it. Now what we need to do is have a look and see what we want to include from Bloxy in our website. So before we get started there, I'm going to head over here back to the plugins. Because there's another plugin from Bloxy that we need to install and it's this install Bloxy companion. And fortunately, when you install Bloxy, if this plugin isn't installed, you're going to get the message. And all you need to do then is click the button and install. With that installed, you're now going to have a lot more options. So it's almost like um, all the hidden gems with Bloxy, what makes Bloxy work, are now available to you. Don't worry about uh, anything uh, yet. Uh, the first thing you want to do if you want to get started then is to head over to the starter sites. So what's great about this is it's not just about a front page, it's about a complete website ecosystem. So because we're looking at something for a business, I thought we would maybe just start then with the basic business uh, theme. And if we scroll down here, you have the basic business theme. And you'll see that when we hover over each of these, you're given a couple of options. And the options you're given are the tools you need to edit the content on the website. And the tool that um, I would prefer or recommend out of the three is to go for the Brizzy plugin. So what will happen is when you click on the import button, you'll see that you're asked if you want to install the child theme. Always a good idea. Install the child theme. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go for the Brizzy option. Then we're going to click next and next. And now what the um, theme is going to do is install everything we need to get going. While that's going, I thought what we might have a, have a look at is this Brizzy plugin for managing content. So it's separate to the um, Bloxy theme. The Brizzy um, plugin is a plugin that has been developed to um, just edit content. And as you can see, it's just really a click, edit, and go kind of a plugin. And it makes adding content really simple. Now, there are free, there's a free version and there is the pro version. Now, you don't need the pro version to get started. So we're going to have a look at just using the free version. Uh, let's have a look at here. So Bloxy is still busy importing the content. So what kind of things can you do? Well, um, Brizzy offers a host of features. They also have these um, content packs. Uh, and you'll see that some of them are marked as pro, and you'll see some of them are marked as free. So installing Brizzy will also give you access to some of these packs. What's nice is you can look at just the free versions on their own, and you can see there's a nice spread here of different things that you can use on your website. Now we are going, um, basically what's happening now on the Bloxy theme is that they're basically installing one of these packs, if you want to call it that. And along with that comes the various pages that you need. So when it comes to having something to work from, the combination of Bloxy and Brizzy um, gives you pretty much everything that you need to get started. Let's head back to the website. So 90% done. And you'll see now that content's being imported. Uh, 
and we're ready to view the site. Now bear in mind we haven't done any edits on the website. View site opens up in a new window. Site's just getting ready to load for the first time. And what we can look at um, while that's loading is in the back end here now, I'm going to head over to pages to see what has been installed. And you'll see here that all these pages have been installed except the privacy policy. So you've got a home page, a contact page, a blog page, an about page. And they've even included another privacy policy. So that's fine. Not a problem there to have both. And let's check if the website is running. And here you are on the website, and you can see just from a look and feel perspective, it's a very professional, kind of understated business look. All you need to do now is change the content to suit your requirements. So that would be the home page. Let's have a look at the about page where you establish the credibility for your business. So let's have a look at that layout. And you'll see once again starts off with a nice header badge at the top and then some nice content areas where you can simply install or upload or add or edit uh, your information. And then you even have a space for the team. So just a case of coming in, changing the picture, the name and their role. And then it also has this really nice footer section with a whole lot of um, items um, organized into a nice logical way and just for you to come in and add your own details in the blog section i did have some demo content so this is the um the default layout and you can see it comes through very nicely uh, this would of course then be replaced by information or news that you want to upload about your business comes up with this side menu of posts and then there's even this little area you have for some um, promotional material and then we have a contact page and the contact page also good quality and you'll see that it does include um, an option here for some branch information your contact details organized in a very nice logical fashion and then we have this contact us section and it does have this form um, so everything is done for you all that's required now is to go in and edit the content so Right, how easy is it to edit the content? Well, we're just going to click this edit with Brizzy link at the top of the page and just see. Okay, well, let's see just how easy it is to edit. So fine, we're on the page. It looks very much like the website. But what you'll notice now is that as you navigate, you'll see these little highlighted areas appear. And inside those highlighted areas, you'll find that you can edit all the content on this page. So right at the top, for example, we're Creative Themes, a modern digital agency based in Moldova. Maybe we want to highlight some of the words. So yeah, maybe I want to make creative stand out. So let's have a look at the colors here. Mm, I think I'll go with a blue. So yeah, that looks like a nice blue. And oh, I'm not going to work on this background. But you can see that the color has taken effect immediately. So we'll make it yellow or the screen. Yeah, that that could work. Very easy to do. If I want to edit the text, that's um, uh, uh, this is our creative and maybe let's just say modern digital agency based in Moldova. So as you can see, very easy to go in and change the content to whatever you want. Uh, and also then we have these buttons here. So let's say we want to change the link on this button. We click the link icon. Immediately we're asked where we want to link to. And you can just paste in the link. You can also then select open in a new tab or to make it a no follow link. But in this case, if we wanted to head over to a different part of the website, uh, let's say we wanted to go to the contact page, copy the link address, come back to our button, uh, head over to the link and paste it in. And now you'll see that we'll be going to the contact page. Right, that's all that we need to do. That's already saved. There are some other options here. So if you wanted to scroll to a different block, so for example, here we have CR services. And if I scroll down, you'll see what we do. Let's call them the services. What's nice now is I can select that link. I can go to um, the block and I can say, go to that block. 
Right, with that done, and when you're done editing, simply click on the update button here in the bottom right. And if you want to preview, there's a little preview icon that opens up in a new window. And you'll see that the changes have taken effect, and you'll be able to um, test them out. So we're just letting that page load, and you'll see now this button was set to um, open in a new tab. Unfortunately, I set the link in the preview mode, so the link is going to be to preview, and um, that's not great. Uh, or oh, we're in a preview mode now, so maybe it will work. Let's get out of this preview mode. So to get out of the preview mode, I'm going to click on this home button. So now you'll see we're not in a preview mode, and let's have a look. If I click on here, scroll down to our services. So there we made an anchor link very easily, and on this button. No, unfortunately, the link didn't take. So I'm just going to right click now when I'm out of the preview mode, copy the link address for the contact page, head back to the editing, click on the button, head over here, click on URL, and paste it in. And now we're done. Now I can update. And you'll see it's already updated. I'm going to click on the home page here, make sure I'm not in any preview kind of mode. So the preview would really just be to see if the changes that you've made have taken effect. But essentially, if you want to start navigating around your site, just click on a link so that you can head out of that mode. And now when I click on the Learn More button, it's taking me to Contact. And if I click on See Our Services, it scrolls down. So very easy to make anchor links in this website. Uh, let's say I wanted to add another button there, and I wanted to scroll down to... Uh, let's have a look um, uh, what people say. So let's say uh, testimonials or reviews. And to do that, then let's see how we can make that happen. So I'm here in the section. I'm going to add another button. Click the plus, And you'll see I have a whole lot of options open to me in the free version. And then below that, all these red dots are the additional features if you go pro. So I'm going to add a button. And I just simply drag it to where I want it. And let's add on. Let's add the button. Um, maybe we'll add the button on the right hand side here. We don't have anything. So let's have a look and see now. We want to format that a bit. Maybe change the layout around. So yeah, I'd like that to be in the middle. Um, yeah, that kind of works for me. So now I want to, I don't need an extra column here. So let's remove that column. Right, that looks great. I have this button. If I want to change the color then, simply select and once again start editing. And you'll see you can edit the background. Then you can change the, the text color. So maybe the text color. Um, right, so that looks like a nice button. OK, that's all we really need to do. Or let's add a shadow then. So the shadow color will be dark, and we're going to go with zero in the first one. Then we're going to go for the vertical offset. We're going to go, um, let's make that um, maybe 10. And then the spread, we'll make that 10 as well. And then the last one, we'll make that 10 as well. Right, so, uh, oh, hang on a second. Let's just keep it. Um, make that one zero. So there we have this bit of a shadow. Um, and we, we have a choice of outset or inset. So we'll go with an outset. And yeah, we can do that. And if we make that a 10, it moves. So I'm just trying to see what the um, different options are. So, right, so the first one is the um, amount of blur. So I think, um, right, so we've got that blur. Um, if you think it's um, too much, you can adjust how much you, you need. So you can make it more subtle. Okay, so we're done. And then this button, I'm going to link down to the bottom. So we're going to go link. We're going to look for a block. And the block I'm going to look for, I'm just going to scroll down here for testimonials, selected testimonials to change the text, double click on it, test, um, test e 
manuals done we are done and if we, oh i could add uh, maybe i want to make a bigger text so let's make it 24 um go back to my button i can set the size yeah i want to go with um small medium large so let's go with large um let's go back to the text then and let's just get that nice and big right so we're happy with that button we update we head over to our website and i'm just going to scroll to the top hit the home button we're going to reload the page with those changes and then we're going to check and see if our button appears here on the right hand side and then we'll scroll down and see if that works so page just loading and now you'll see we have that shadow we have that hobby effect click on testimonials scroll down what people say about us couldn't be easier if i scroll down as well if i want to change any of these items uh, if i don't need the second row quite easily come in and just uh, remove oh, that's maybe a nice layout i think i'll keep that um yeah uh, as you can see very easy if i want to change the icon simply click on the icon click on the icon click on the icon and choose a new one and you're done you have a new icon to change the heading uh, also uh, web design let's change that to um, superior web design so as you can see very easy to do um, the what we do section then is taken care of just simply edit uh, if you've got some interesting information here maybe you don't like this picture so if you wanted to change that let's have a look and see so i'm going to look at the background here and you'll see we have this background image i could move the image um, because of the shape of the image and the shape of where it needs to go i can move that around and if i don't want that particular image i can simply remove it click on the upload and then i can come in here and choose a different image so maybe uh, i'm going to choose that image and now we have that image and once again um, i can move around select what i want of that image to display so um, as you can see uh, really easy let's try something else uh, yeah maybe this friendlier picture here and we select right so we have a much friendlier image here that's great and then in the drop down here you can select size so we'll just make sure we've selected the large image that may affect the quality of the image but looks like that's as good as it is if you want to you can include a video from youtube or somewhere else um, and here you can even include a map so just right off this one element you have all these options which is fantastic so in this case we'll just go with that image scroll down here um, maybe we'll add the map in over here so if i head over to this image you'll see it's an image um, if i want to get to the map then i can click here go to background select the map and we'll go with the wall street map that's great and then of course i don't need the image so click on the image click on the bin and the image is gone and now i have my map on the home page um, yeah here we have a series of videos and the videos um, simply click on select where the video comes from select the um, aspect ratio so 16 to 9 is the normal but some of the older videos might be a bit squarer so we have this 4 to 3 ratio but 16 to 9 is standard for hd and then you just paste in the link and you can insert your videos um, yeah it's really that simple and easy to update here as well if you want you can click on the link click on the image uh, you don't like that picture let's change it let's get another picture somebody else um, what about that friendly face and also you can move this around so you can then say no i want to face to be the main focus um, and you're pretty much done you can also then have a look at the border so uh, you can set the size um, if you prefer the square you can leave it at square um yeah you can even have a hover effect um so that would be the hover effect or the standard effect over here so that's how you can then um change the border so there we've 
I don't know, you can mix it up between the square images and the images with the rounded border. Simply edit the text very easily um, and what's been said. Um, yeah, so very easy then there to um, affect your changes. Just something else to have a look at. If you are going to have um, a bit of a new site going, so let's say you have this blog section on the website. Um, now we're going to edit this, but instead of using the editing that we've shown now with Brizzy, we're actually going to use the features in Bloxy to make the edit. So I'm going to head over here to customize, and now we're going to customize this page. So we just looked at uh, content editing. Now we're going to look at additional features that are available that are, are linked to Bloxy as a theme. And for example, we have this layout. So I'm going to head over here on the left hand side and look for um, blog posts. And you'll see we have this, um, the blog post section. And what do we want to do here? At the moment, it shows us that we have these uh, two posts showing. And if I change something here, you'll see now that we head over to a different layout. So maybe you want to have that on the, the main feed. So it looks more like a news feed. And then you decide, you know what, when you go into a, a category, I want to have something else. Then it's quite easy then to head over here to categories and say, you know, in categories, um, I'm going to go for this layout where we have the two latest posts and then the three. Now you're not going to see the change here. Um, but if I go into a category like category seven, then you'll see we have the two. Um, okay, that one only had the two. Um, let's choose a different category. So let's go back to the blog. And we'll choose a different category. Um, let's say category five. Maybe that has more posts. So you'll see now we have the two. And then the three would have followed if there had been three. So you can now uh, decide on the layout that you want. Um, you could even choose the classic layout where you just have the image followed by the text for each post but that's a little bit big um, or you could just go with the standard layout of you know three items per row but always nice to mix it up a bit if you can so having the two and then the three probably a slightly better idea anyway you get the idea of what's possible i can also turn the sidebar on or off um, so very easy there we have the sidebar and then we have the posts on the left if um, you'd like to do that. So you can see now that you have these two, two areas for customizing your site. The one is the layout and the other one is the actual content. So we are now looking at the um, actual layout of the site. If you're worried about um, cookie consent, you'll notice here we have this cookie consent button. Simply um, move that over and you can now set that cookie and the acceptance of the cookie um, and that'll just pop up here on the left hand side of the page or you can set it to fill the entire page so now the user would have to click on that um, just to conform with uh, cookie consent then we have this design area and you can then change the colors of the button and a few other things um, for that so yeah very easy to do um let's go and have a look at an individual blog post so let's see what are people going to see when they go into a post now the post news content is added in the back end um, in the admin area yeah that looks really nice um let's then here go to a single post and decide you know do we want the sidebar and probably not it's a little bit distracting so let's go here then for this normal width item and you'll see we have that nice big image and then we have this normal width for the content and you know let's add a couple of items so the featured image is in the background there so that's fine let's have a look let's add some tags so there we have our tags um yeah, let's add a share box because yeah we want people to read it and recommend it to their friends share box added um yeah let's add a link back to the author because we have more than one author that's great. And you know what? Let's add a previous to next. And right now we have this button at the bottom. If I click on that, it'll take me to the next post, the previous post. And there we have it. Um, do I want to allow comments? No, I don't want people to 
um, have comments and do I want related posts? You know, maybe I do want some related posts and they'll then appear at the bottom of the page. So now I have my blog layout done. I'm quite happy with that. Once you're done, you hit the publish button and that's it. Your website um, new section is now up to date and looking professional. We move from that layout with the sidebar and here you'll see it's quite relaxed. There's no distraction. I can quietly read on and if I want to share anything, I can simply hit the Facebook page and it'll open up and I can share to Facebook. So that's done. So that's how you have this combination of um, editing the website. Um, let's call it the website theme. So that would be your header bar, your footer bar, the layout, and then you have the content areas. And that's where um, Brizzy comes in. Let's have a look then at how we would go about editing, say, this uh, footer information. So you want to update some of this really easy. The first thing we'll do is we'll go to Bloxy. And when Bloxy opens, we're then going to head down. Uh, well, let's just say, sorry, not Bloxy. Let's head over to the Customize section. And as soon as that opens, we're just going to scroll down here on the left. Um, or at the top here, we're going to look for footer, right? So we look for the footer area, we scroll down, and now you'll see that this menu has appeared. And you'll see it goes widget area 4, 1, 2, and 3. And that widget area then is 4, 1, 2, and 3. So if you wanted to move your about us to the far right, you could then move this widget area to the far right. Um, can only it looks like one widget area per section and that's not working as well as I'd hoped let's move that up to that area then I'll move that there and then I'll move that across so you can only have one widget area per section and you just manipulate it and now we've moved our about us to the right hand side so that's great we've got our contact info here if you decide hmm, contact info on the right seems to be more intuitive, then simply move that around. And there you have it. You've now moved that around. So now our area goes one, three, two, and four. No problem. If you feel, okay, now I want to edit the content. Now it's not going to work here to double click and edit. And you'll see that there is this edit option. If I click edit here, um, I can't actually edit the content from here. What I need to do is go into WordPress to do that. So to do that, I'm just going to um, head over to the admin area. And to get there, um, you'll see that this top left-hand item is the one to click. You click it once, it goes to the website. Click it again, it opens up this admin panel. We go to appearance, we go to widgets. And now we look for the corresponding widget that we want to edit so when the widgets area opens up you'll see you'll have all your sidebars listed here and already you can see footer ed widget area one two three and four five six so i'm going to head over to the website now and i can see here that the contact info is widget area number four so i look for the widget footer widget area number four open that up and there i see contact um and if I click on it again, I can now edit the information. So we've got, um, okay, so maybe work hours, uh, fax number, um, and whatever you need to do, you can click from this drop down. But as you add, so the what's available is reduced until there are no more options. So if we were, um, whatever we wanted to do now, we can edit. If I want to edit the address, I would need to address content will be um, new address in this um, city there we done and maybe this address we'll call it the physical address um, you can add your phone number so uh, let's go um, one two three four five six seven eight nine zero we've changed that um, and what's the telephone link so this is so that when people click on it, they can phone you and we'll make that. Right, so we've got our link to click. We've got, we can add a mobile number. 
Um, yeah, so you can add all those things. And then you've got the options for the icon sizes. Let's up them to medium. Um, rounded, let's go for square. And the shape full type, we'll just keep that with outline. Update and head over to the website now. So to head over to the website, you can just right click on that top left icon, open a new tab. The website's going to load up. And if you scroll down now, once it's loaded, you'll see that your changes have taken effect. Um, in the meantime here, I don't need this Brizzy to be running. And I've just got this open so I can see where I am. So page loading. And if I scroll to the bottom now, there you can see all that additional contact info. And I've added it. Um, now we said that we wanted our um, contact info on the right. What we need to do then is hit the publish button and that will commit these changes. And now when I refresh, you will now see those items have been added to the right hand side. And there's very little that I actually had to do. So there's the new address, uh, square icons. Um, so you can see how just how easy it is then to edit. So if you came in, installed this um, for your web, your company, you could literally sit down and in a in an hour, maybe two hours, you could have um, the kind of website you want to promote your business. And all you have to do is go through and edit. You don't have to come up with any massive creative ideas. Um, if you wanted to um, change some of the um, other items here, let's um, head over to customize. Uh, you can literally just work through what's available. You could start at the top. So um, for example, here, um, some button sizes. Um, what kind of height do you want? Um, do you want to have a hover effect? Um, so not too important, but what would be more important would be, for example, in the header. Um, you have these global headers and here you can affect the layout. So you'll see that as I um, uh, cycle between them, you will see that this changes, you know, how the navigation works, for example. Um, Then uh, over here, you might want a very narrow top piece that would facilitate the narrower top piece, only the bottom row. At the moment, we only have one row, so that's not a good idea. But you can um, come through and decide how many rows you want in your navigation. You can scroll down here, uh, when to enable it. Um, you'll also see when you scroll down, you have another menu that pops up here. Um, if I click on the little buttons next to each item, you'll notice everything changes on the left. So it just allows you then to edit those items immediately. So here we have the sticky menu logo. There we have the logo. And then there we have the transparent state logo. And you can decide where to use. So the transparent state works well there. And then when you scroll down, you use a different logo. You can set the logo height. And do you want it to shrink when it goes to the sticky? So the sticky is the menu that you see here. And there you can see it pops down to a slightly smaller size. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. But you can get in and start having a look at adding your logo. Um, if you wanted to change the logo, it really is as easy as um, let's click on the logo icon. And then you can log in here and choose a different logo. Select it, and now you'll see that um, it hasn't changed. Why? Because this is the transparent site logo. So let's try that again. If we choose CNN, for example, and there you see CNN is now the logo. So that's how easy it is to change the logo. If you don't want a logo to show it all, you can just close that, and now there'll be no logo on the website. So that is also possible. And then you might say, well, insert the site title. And the site title is maybe my business. So we enter the site title and close that off. And so now you're, you don't even have to have a logo. If you don't have a logo, it's fine. You can just enter 
the name of your business and that can function just as well so yeah really easy to do um yeah so if you are looking to just get a basic website for your business and you want something that works then um, this is uh, going to work for you just one last thing then on the contact side so there is a bit of communication here and you'll see there's this email form and you'll want to know okay how do i edit where this form goes who's going to get it we head over here then to edit this page with brizzy again and once brizzy is loaded we're just going to right here we are we'll scroll down to that form and on this form button here where you submit um, as soon as that's loaded you'll see how that there's this little plug we click on that and these are the settings for the form and inside here in the free version you can set okay email to what is the subject the from email address the from name the reply to details etc so this is where you can set that up and once you you're done with the settings hit continue and you're done there are other options here if you had a form here to you know subscribe to a newsletter or something you could then um, link it in here but um, that's a pro option and then if you have a recapture which is like a spam preventer and you've set it up then you can paste in your details here and it's done so that's how easy it is then to set up the recapture um, if you want to add in a content element not just um, you know one of these items that's also possible um, you'll see here we have this little plus icon click on it and now you'll notice that you have a couple of free and pro content elements that you can add you can also alternate here between design kits so if this is perhaps more in keeping because it's a bit darker and you'll see all the free options available here and the pro ones are indicated with a pro so you can literally come in here and if i wanted to add in something uh, maybe i want to add a beautiful world um, simply click on the block the block gets added straight away and of course you can now come in and edit you want to add a background to this block um, you'll see you have the setting bar you'll have he has that background icon again and at the moment it has this bridge the bridge kind of works really nicely because it's so subtle if you wanted to change that you can and you can pull in any other item and if you then decide you know what i'm going to go back the bridge is loaded into your media library so you can select it again or if you decide no we're going with the setting sun um, you can also select that uh, that doesn't look half bad either so yeah and then you can just come in and edit uh, whatever you want to edit here so um, fantastic very easy to set up all right so let's head back to some of the other features available if we head yeah, back to the um, the back end um, we already looked at the various items in the footer let's just go over to Bloxy and you'll see that this is where some of the support comes in so um, the customizer shortcuts looked at some of the things that we looked at now with changing the the, the navigation the head of the layout um, adding those various items to the individual posts um, like the um, related posts um, previous and next posts, and all those kinds of things so these are shortcuts then to the customizer then we have the starter site so if you loaded up the site and you weren't entirely happy and you wanted to change it you could literally come install any one of these and you would then just continue and it would overwrite whatever settings you had for the previous um, website so you don't have to uninstall and delete you can just come in hit the um, import make your selection of content manager and you're ready to go so that makes this really good then they also have this list of recommended extensions so we have some free extensions and then we have some pro extensions so on the free side we have uh, the cookies consent um, newsletter subscription uh, product reviews trending posts um, and widgets and the widgets are already activated because those are the sidebars and then also those footer elements where you're able to change the address and things so this just gives you some additional options when you um, click on one of these 
plugins, they'll then ask you for information that it needs. In this case, MailChimp or MailerLite, and you enter your API key, which is supplied by MailChimp, and you can set up this integrated subscription block um, quite easily. Then there are some pro extensions, so uh, and you can have a look at these. They're not required when you get started. If you're starting out for the website for yourself, you don't need to worry too much about those. Um, some other useful plugins that are recommended here. Um, yeah, you can have a look, but there are a lot of plugins available from WordPress. They do a lot of different things, and you probably don't need any of these um, to get started. For most company sites that just need something basic, this will be more than enough in the free version. Here we have the change log, which looks at the development and as the changes are applied. And also it gives you an indication of the date. So, you know, how long does it take before updates are released? And you'll see here there were quite a few. On the 22nd, there was one. And then another one um, uploaded just after that. Uh, then another one uploaded on the 23rd. So it looks as though they'll make a release, and if there's feedback and there's an issue, they will fix it. So that's the the really nice thing is they're really quick off the bat, and they're very active in their updates. So this is keeping up with the latest web standards, which is um, very good. And you'll see that they break it down into the theme and then the companion. So the companion are all those additional features, and the theme is just the bare bones theme, but using both together, um, that makes all the difference. The area that we're in now looking at this information is the companion area. And then here is a list of items that you get as free and then compared to the Pro. So it's worth having a look, but you might find that you don't need any of the Pro features and you can just move along with what you have. If you decide that you do want to have a look at Pro, then just head over to their website. If we go and have a look at the pricing, um, they have two kinds of pricing. The one is the annual pricing, and then they also have lifetime pricing. So if you don't want to pay the annual fee of $49, then why not have a look at a lifetime? Pay once and never pay again. So $149 once off fee or $199 if you have more than one site. If you're a freelance or an agency, maybe you want to have a look at it more seriously and then pay the $299. But if you're just looking at something for yourself, um, start with the annual, and if you're happy, then spend the $149. Um, yeah, um, we've had a brief look at the help. They've got some more items here, but uh, the other one to have a look at that you might like is the showcase. Um, if you want to just see if this is going to be a good match for your business, then why not have a look and see what other businesses may be similar to yours or not. Um, what they've been able to do with the platform. So if you're not going for a shopping type of site and you're looking for something that's more like a business website, then have a look at these and, you know, just go and have a look and see how that matches up and see, um, you know, how that would fit in with what um, you need for your website. And you can see there's a variety of different themes and styles and ideas based on the different businesses. But the fact that they're also different just indicates that there's a lot of scope here for customization and updating to deliver a really good, unique experience, but clean and neat and something that works uh, straight out the box. Right, well, that's about wraps up um, what you can do for your business using um, Bloxy. So if you are looking for a theme for your business and you're not sure um, and you're uncertain, have a look at Bloxy. It has everything that you need. And with minimal work updates, you can turn, you know, you can create something really good for your business. Just then one last thing, if we look at the mobile part, if you're worried, yeah, but is it any good on mobile? And you'll see that without touching any settings, the mobile layout is fantastic. And there's also a mobile menu, home, about, log, and contact. So the mobile um updates or sections or whatever you need work without you having to do anything so yes um, it does meet all the criteria um, if you're starting out and you need a basic business website well i uh, hope you found that useful i've got some links in the comments uh, just before the comments below in the description so um, check them out otherwise thank you for watching